Iran on Sunday unveiled a slew of electronic warfare and other electronic systems to disrupt enemy drones and provide protection to its own drones over enemy territory. These products developed by the Iranian Army Ground Forces Research and Self-Sufficiency Jihad Organization were unveiled during a ceremony held Sunday. Equipment revealed during the event include a system for drone radar warning with the capability to detect and jam airborne surveillance radars on a variety of drones, helicopters, and fighter jets. Also, a system to warn of the laser beams emitted from drones was unveiled today which enjoys the capability to detect laser-guided weapons and airborne threats, short-range air defense systems, including high-powered laser destroyer, and the ability to send alerts to the drone's ground control and guidance station, semi-official FARS news agency reported. Iran's Army Ground Force also showcased micro-turbojet engine which can be used in drone systems, single-seater light aircraft, wave gilders, various missile systems, and can be utilized in propulsion engines and for launching the main engines of aircraft. It provides low weight, high speed and high flight ceiling compared to piston engines and the ability to carry cargo and increase flight duration in a variety of UAVs and using a variety of fuels or other capabilities of the system. The next product was TIAM 1400 drone self-defense system, detection and tracing of guided radars and air surveillance of enemy drones. The system operates in all frequency bands and is capable of detecting various types of air surveillance radar signals and intelligently transmits the received signal to the jamming system. Another system unveiled on Sunday was Mass Flight Network Based Flight System based on artificial INTELLIGENCE AI, which consists of a leading drone. follow-up drones in a ground station that has the ability to perform online or scheduled operations. Also, missions to identify, monitor and destroy enemy ground and flying targets, appropriate operational range and flight duration, the ability to network three or more aircraft by using a variety of Iran-made drones with a secure link and a completely indigenous control guidance system or other capabilities of the system. Meantime, another product was Taha 1400, a jamming system of air surveillance radars mounted on drones which is a system with appropriate power and covers a large operational area by using directional antennas and maintains the security of various drones flying over the enemy zones. Also, it is intelligent, is low in weight and voltage consumption, and has the ability to be installed quickly and easily. The next product was upgraded ground-based jamming system to confront drone threats and remotely controlled systems by jamming their navigation system. The ability to jam most frequency bands, the ability to operate in all operational areas and battlefields, rapid deployment, duration of operation, intelligent operation and having no need to operators are the capabilities of the system. Iran has pioneered them by copying U.S. drones, such as the Predator or Sentinel.
It has also copied other drone models it has seen around the world. In addition, it developed some of its own unique models. The Abable drone line, for instance, has been exported to the Houthis in Yemen as the Kasif. This drone is launched from a rail or catapult and flies several hundred kilometers to carry out an attack. Hamas has showcased its Shehab drones, which are similar to the Abbabal and Kasif, during the recent war. Israel has had to contend not only with UAVs flown by Hamas, but also drones that have been spotted on the Lebanese border in recent years, and others that flew into Israeli airspace from Syria. In July 2018, there were two incidents involving drones flying toward Israel from Syria. The IDF used a Patriot missile to shoot at them. One of them penetrated Israeli airspace for a few kilometers before being shot down by the Patriot. In these cases, Israel says it monitors the drones before shooting them down. For instance, the May 18 incident included the following IDF explanation. Earlier this morning, a UAV approaching the Israeli border in the Emek Hamayanid area was intercepted after being monitored by the Israel Air Force. The UAV fragments were collected by security forces. While not all details are known about the increasing drone threat, it is clear that the last three years have seen an uptick in drone activity on Israel's Syria, Lebanon and Gaza borders. Israel is not alone in dealing with the threat. Saudi Arabia has been confronting the Iranian-backed Houthi drones. Iran attacked Saudi Arabia in September 2019 using drones and cruise missiles. Pro-Iran forces in Iraq have used drones against U.S. facilities there, including carrying out at least two drone attacks this year. Tehran is behind all of this in Yemen, Iraq and Gaza, as well as Syria and Lebanon. Iran is a kind of drone octopus exporting its drones around the region. Iran's drones bring something to the battlefield that was not there before. Prior to the Iran drone threat, the main problem was terrorist groups such as ISIS repurposing quadcopters they bought via civilian channels.